Hey guys and welcome back to another Deluxe Shave. Hope you guys' this week is going good. Your, your, well, your weekend, it's Sunday. Hope you guys' this weekend's going good. I'm going, mine's going great. I've got my nephew and my niece down here spending the, the week with us. They're off at the park. I figured while I have some alone time, I can pamper myself, if you will, and uh, bring you guys a shaving video. Um, so... What are we thriving for today? Well, I was thinking, I got a fantastic lathering bowl for you, if y'all guys haven't seen uh, the last video, the link will be in the description, it's about this new lather bowl I've gotten. I've got an amazing pre-shave oil, and I've got another product that you guys have not seen yet. Um, I've been holding out on you guys a little bit. Only because in the sh in the DE community, those things that you can go expensive or you can go cheap, it's up to you. And I wanted to know the difference between an expensive uh, shaving soap or a cheap shaving soap. So what I did was I went out and bit the bullet and spent 40 bucks on a shaving puck. <laughs> yep. And this is it. This is the... Royal Shave uh, by the Barber Supply Company established in 2017, oh no sorry, 2007, shaving soap. This is lemon sandalwood with white ceramic bowl. And this is, it, it's presentation was on point. You got a little bit of reading material there, you got the logo there. It opens up. To what I have here. This is the ceramic bowl with lid. That was the puck. It has the Royal Shave established 2007 uh, Barber Supply Company. Guys, this is like a cologne type scent. It's not an outdoorsy, it is a cologne scent. You have a little bit of lemon, that lemon's not really punching you at all. You, you gotta find it. Sandalwood. Maybe a little bit of lavender. I, I, maybe. I, I doubt it though. But there is some sweetness in there though. It's something that if you was to have in a spray bottle and, you know, cologne, you'd use it every single day. It's a nice everyday puck. Alright. So. Got really hot water. I'm going to hydrate my beard. I figured out what was wrong uh, with the um, Vikings, Bra Vikings Blade Emperor. It wasn't the razor. It wasn't something I was doing wrong. It was the razor blade. Um, remember, I didn't make a shaving video last because my niece wanted to help. Um... So, I changed the blade out, and not a problem. No tugging, no pulling, nothing. Smooth as could be. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I finally got them, finally getting around to using them. Feather. I haven't used Feather. I've seen a lot of comments around other people's YouTube videos of what's the difference between the yellow box and the white and black box. There's only one thing different between the two. Um, the yellow box has the, and one pack holds 10 blades. The black one holds five blades. That's the only difference besides the box itself. So, if you guys are wondering if this is different than the other box that you see on Amazon or eBay or what have you, no, same thing. Only thing is, this holds 10, the other one holds five. So in this box is 200 because they hold 10 instead of 5. Alrighty. I'm excited. Got that going. I'm going to actually do the 
cloth method when it goes to um, today because I want the best shave I've ever gotten. The only way I know how to do it without taking a shower is doing this. Messing this all up, guys. One one thousand, three one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. Take the spectacles off. Do it again. I want the best, the best shave ever. And I'm gonna do my best to get it. Alrighty. Put four or five drops of the Viking Blade Black Forest pre-shave oil on. One, two, three, four. Let's stop my eyes, do one more. Put the face one more time. Now, now that I know what's wrong, what was wrong with my um, razor, that it wasn't the razor, it was the blade. I'm excited. Great scent with the Black Forest. Nailed it right on the head. Time to get the brush going and the bowl as well. You know, sometimes shaving's messy. I got water all over the place, but that's fine. Gonna soak the bowl, get a little bit of water in there, and straight into the lather making. Cause this lather never seen this this bowl never seems to stop amazing me. I probably used a little bit too much water. That's alright. Cause I could just do this. Alrighty. Got the razor. Guys, that is a smooth, smooth shave. Oh, well, it looks like my niece and nephew's home. Excuse the noise in the background, guys. <laughs> Completely different. Night and day different, guys. Sorry about that. I had to take a moment. It came inside. I didn't want them to be too loud for you guys because it echoes enough in here as it is. So, what are my final thoughts about the razor? 
the most smoothest razor I've used. Guys, sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes it's the most simplest thing in the world. And sometimes we forget that it can be the most simplest thing in the world. My brush, I mean not my brush, my razor was having problems because the razor blade was dull. It was just a dud razor. That's all that was. A dud razor blade. This thing is shaving so smooth. In fact, I kind of want to bump it up a little bit. Let's bump it up a little bit. Let's, uh, oh, I've been shaving it at, uh, two, let's shave it up at, let's go to four. Yeah, this is nice. Excuse the noise in the background. My fan looks naturally noisy. But then again, isn't all family? Now, a lot of people say that they don't like feather blades because they're too harsh. Maybe it's just a razor head that you're using. Because I know personally, mine's great. I've had no problems with mine. Uh, the razor is absolutely, absolutely, it cuts beautifully, and it's not aggressive at all. I mean, it's adjustable, and I could definitely make it uh, aggressive, but it's perfectly fine just the way it is. Let me uh, do my mustache, have it shave my mustache in six days. Why? Because the first time I forgot about it, second time I was like, well, let's wait and give this thing a test. So this thing is from three to four. I mean, from one to three is aggressive. So this is going to be a mild shave up here. Wow. Let me tell you guys something about my mustache area. Wow. My mustache area is a sensitive area. Which means I only go one pass. I don't do any more than one and I go with the grain. And that's how I shave my mustache area. Which means I don't really get a close shave up here. I really don't. Guys. I have this razor on a setting, I believe it's, yeah, on setting four, and I did the comb side. The comb side's a little bit more aggressive than the other side. The other side's for uh, less irritation, it's just more aggressiveness. Guys, I've got the most closest shave ever up here with one pass. It feels like I went against the grain, but I didn't. Did not go against the grain at all. That's so weird to me. It feels like I went against the grain. There's nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. Got this problem area right here. I got to take care of. I'm, I guess you could say I'm going for a BBW, uh, not BBW. <laughs> PBS shade. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's okay, big women are beautiful too. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go right here and right there. See, that's the lather I was looking for right here. I messed up on the first one, but that's the lather I was looking for.
Wow. <laughs> okay, guys. The uh, Vikings blade. Let me tell you. Wow. Wow. Y'all guys literally brung my DE shaving to the next level. Let me give you guys a little secret here. These two areas right here, I could never shave. You could always go against the grain and you'll always feel it. It would never go away. And I never told you guys this because I thought that it was me. You know, that it was just a problem area that I couldn't do. That's not true. The Vikings Blade Emperor just did it with the grain. Did a little bit against the grain here, did with the grain here, and guys, it's gone. I got a little bit here. I could touch it. You know what? Why not? Let's touch it up. My face is not irritated whatsoever. Guys, we thrive for the best shave we ever. We got it. Let's go against the grain here. Nice. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. This will this video will have to come up a little bit later on just because I have two videos that I have to merge together. because uh, I pressed the pause. I could have just pressed the pause button, couldn't I? I have to do that next time. But guys, this was an amazing shave amazing shave let's uh put a little bit of <laughs> face of danger yes it does stink when you first put it on your face but i'm not gonna lie it only lasts for a couple of seconds and then it just helps your face so for a couple of seconds yes your face is gonna reek But after that, you're good. Let's uh, rinse out the bowl. So what could we have done differently? Well, we I, w I would have liked a little bit better lather. That's fine. What's great? I ended up getting the, I ended up getting the lather that I wanted. End up getting the ladder that I wanted. At the end of the day, great shave, guys. Great, great shave. Again, I apologize for the noisiness. This is a little bit of a noisier. Even the sinks want to be noisy. <laughs> it's a little bit of a noisier setup, but what should be expected? I got my niece and my nephew here, so it's been go, 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 go since they've gotten here. But I am thankful for the time of which we share. And I'm glad that we had the best shave ever. And I look forward to the next one with you guys. And don't ever forget, I love each and every one of you. And I appreciate everything that you guys do. The next shave we're going to be talking about biblical stuff. Um, I want something about the Bible, something that completely goes against what I grew up um, being taught. I grew up being taught that when you die, you either go to heaven or hell. That's not true. Well, that's not what the Bible says. In fact, they they refer the Bible to sleep. Uh, so we'll we'll touch base on that next one, which the whole conversation is going to be about that. But guys, a great shave, great shave, great shave. There's nothing there. I can't. I'm this right here sold the shave alone. But I love you guys. Thank you. If you like the video, if you're enjoying the content, 
make sure you click the like button leave a comment because i love talking to you guys and if you like to know when i make a video make sure you click that bell icon and whenever i make a video you'll be the first one to see it i hope you guys have a great day and as always god bless